Hello everyone! It's been a while. I'm Masaya Matsukaze and I play Ryo Hazuki in Shenmue. I think it was the year after I did the superhero TV show Super Sentai series. I got invited to the audition, but was told I couldn't be given any details. And besides that, I had to bring my seal, the one we use for our signatures here in Japan. And I thought, what's this all about? But it meant that anyone who couldn't sign off on this pre audition contract was pretty much told to go home. So there in the green room were all these really famous actors. And everyone was signing and putting their seal on these contracts we were given beforehand. Then the doors burst open. And there Yusan was. Looking back at how the audition started there, that was my first real step towards Shenmue. It was a first for me, of course, but I was told afterwards about just what we accomplished. I did the Japanese voice acting and dialogue for the main character and player, Ryo Hazuki. I also did what was called the motion capture part for him as well. I'd already played in a superhero series and was an actor, so doing the movements, being filmed, and doing the lines came natural to me. But here, all of that was separated out, doing only certain parts. A motion capture actor, they said. I found out later that was actually close to being a worldwide first. So it was this learning process, performing at the forefront of this technology, just coming into its own. It was really trying having to create a whole new world within that one screen. For example, the action scenes. When acting out a fight, I say this a lot, but when the camera films this way, you punch this way. So when the camera's filming this way, the fist overlaps your face so you can't see the hit. Then, when the camera's filming this way now, you have to punch opposite where your fist overlaps again. But these contrivances fall apart here. Professional racers wear special pads that protect against spinal injury. We call them turtles. We put them on front and back so we can actually punch and kick each other for real. If we don't, it takes a lot of extra camera work afterwards, even if it does come out. It can't all be done like that. So for all the fighting, we actually do hit each other. And when you have that exaggerated flyback, we'd have a rope tied to our waist. And we were actually kicked, and with about 10 guys then yanking you back together with that real reaction. What we did was sort of like wire work in Hong Kong movies for all the action scenes. Because it was done that way, even looking at it now, I still think it looks good. But it's dangerous making real contact. They'd say for the take, okay, this is the last one, you're really gonna hit him. And we'd really give it to each other. Even now, I think why I'm still such good friends with the stunt crew is because we beat each other up all the time. Besides that, for instance, just to stand or to sit, I had to do all of those actions. For example, to stand. And to stand over this way. Then to sit from this side and to stand over this way. Open the door with your right hand. Open the door, step out, right foot first. Open, step out, left foot first, like this. All like that. This is probably the most recognizable action for everyone, I'm sure. I wonder how many there were just for the basic movements. We took a huge amount, more than 100 or 200. Like squatting down for a kitten. Now maybe I should squat down gentler. I remember deciding how they should be filmed with everyone. When doing the motion capture, I had to practice the actions with 13 sensors attached to me. For the action sequences, I really learned Wushi Kaimen by Ji Kwan. Yo Hazuki was supposed to do all of this without thinking, so it wasn't an option for me not to do it. If you're gonna do it, you'd better do it right. Everyone Yusan brought together were those types of people, so I became a student and practiced my heart out while I was here. 
So, here we have Ryo's stance. Ryo Hazuki was born into a dojo, and without even realizing it, naturally learned by Ji Kwan. So for the motion capture, we were actually taught by a Bai Ji Kwan master. It's a cross between Bai Ji Kwan's unique stance and how a regular person stands to fight. This duo Hazuki stance was put together with the fight choreographer. When you move into it from your normal position, you go from here walking up, but when there's action, it makes for a quick drop to get into stance. So when you finish off the last guy, it's a simple return. You push the button forward to walk and off you go.